Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have created your site, either by using a template or a wizard, you can start adding pages to it. However, if you've not yet created a site, you can have FrontPage automatically create a site for you by simply creating a new page and saving it. The folder into which you save this new page will automatically be the root folder for the new site. You can create a new blank page by simply clicking the New button in the standard toolbar. FrontPage also has several web page templates you can access by using the menu bar or the task pane. In FrontPage 2002, click File in the menu bar, roll over New, and then click Page or Web. Or, you could change the task pane's drop-down to New Page or Web. In front page 2003, again click File in the menu bar, and then click New. Or, change the task pane's drop-down to New. Then, in the task pane, click the More Page Templates hyperlink. In front page 2002, this will just say Page Templates. Then, in the Page Templates dialog box, double-click one of the templates on the General tab. You'll notice you have two other tabs here as well, but we'll be covering these later in the tutorial. Before you begin working on the page, you should save it with the name you want for it. Once you've done that, you can insert text and graphics and work with it as normal. When you're ready to save a web page, you can just click the Save button in the standard toolbar, or you can click File in the menu bar, and then click Save As. This will bring up the Save As dialog box. If the page you created was part of a site that was already open, it should prompt you to save it under the root folder for that site. However, if the page you're saving is not yet part of a site, you can select the folder you want to become the root folder for the new site. Then, in either case, enter a name for the page in the file name field. Once you've done that, click Save. After you've saved the page, you'll notice that the tab at the top of the work area no longer says New Page 1 or New Page 2. It now says the new name of the page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.